Prince Harry lands back in the UK tomorrow morning preparing for a reunion with new girlfriend Meghan Markle. After a hugely successful tour of the Caribbean on behalf of the Queen, the Prince will be seeing the suit star at some stage later in the month. They are planning their first romantic holiday away together. And while at this stage it's believed that Meghan will not receive an invite to the royal family's traditional Christmas celebrations at Sandringham, yesterday she showed her love for Britain by posting on her Instagram page photos of her pet dog guy dressed in a Union Jack jumper. Aides on the tour refused to discuss the couple's relationship but one said it was clear he is the happiest he has ever been. One official who travelled with the prince for part of the trip said, Quite simply he has been fantastic. No airs, no graces, brilliant with the soldiers, brilliant with the politicians, brilliant with the diplomats and most noticeably brilliant with all the children he's met. He has been a joy to work with and a credit to his country and to the Queen. The aide added, and his mum would be especially proud. In the hotel Prince Harry was staying in Georgetown. Guyana there are postcards on sale of Princess Diana who was featured on several of the nation's postage stamps in the 1990s. The shop staff, who didn't realize Harry was Diana's son, wanted to hand him some but decided not to in case the image might have upset him. Another added, it's abundantly clear he is the happiest he's ever been. Clearly things are going well in his personal life and it's showing through in his professional life. Harry's tour started in Antigua and ended in Guyana, where his dad Prince Charles visited 15 years ago. He got within feet of wild crocodiles as he visited the Iwa Crime International Center deep in the Amazon rainforest in Guyana. During his visit he met rangers to learn about work carried out at the reserve and watched as crocs swam close by in the river. Among other highlights of the 14-day visit was a meeting with Rahana in Barbados where they both underwent HIV tests. And he met cricket legend Sir Viv Richards who said, Prince Harry was fantastic, a real inspiration to the youngsters who attended the event. Prince Harry yesterday visited a Caribbean children's home that was founded by the religious sect known as the Moonies. Harry spent an hour touring Joshua House Children's Center in the capital of Guyana an institution run by Gladys Saka, who is a member of the Unification Church, known as the Moonies after its founder Sun Myung Moon. The center in Georgetown is next door to the Unification Church of Guyana and when the prince arrived he walked past a quotation from the Reverend Moon, painted on an adjoining wall. Part of it read, We are not living for our personal ideal, but for the ideal of God. The visit saw Harry interacting with some of the 50 children aged from 7 to 17, who are referred to the center by a child protection program if they at risk from a number of factors, from abuse and neglect to poverty.